all right how's it going everyone so um, I'm seeing a lot of videos that are concerning the 3080 Ti um, hash rate and um, a lot of people are having problems issues with the gigabyte version and um, I actually have a gigabyte version and I just wanted to share my info share my experiments of what I'm getting I know some are stating that they're only able to get up to 60 73 hash rate um, with my card I have a gigabyte um, RTX 3080 Ti and I'm getting approximately 85 to 84 hash rate um, I seen another person post up a video to where he's getting I believe it's like 88 but he's pushing the power to 305 which I find that pointless in doing it that's too much power to use you know um, not even a 3090 uses 300 um, power to get a good efficiency like I got a third RTX 3090 and I got it at 290 watts and it's pushing 122 hash rates but um, let's just get right into it so let me just go to it so as you can see here um, it shows 8501 it changes um, from time to time uh, but this is the overclock settings so I have the overclock settings um, power I set it to 270 now if I was to remove the power this will go up to about um, 87 but it will be using about 280 power so I still feel that's just too much it's no point in doing that so I have it under 270 watts which gives roughly about 260 I see the average about 260 watts so if I have 260 watts and I'm getting roughly 85 hash rate I feel like that's the best um, for me you know as you can see it shows 269 it doesn't pass a 270 because I have that lock there so that way it don't, it don't pass 270 um, so this is what I'm receiving what I'm getting so we can just go right in here as you can see the core clock I got it at 1350 the memory clock I have it at 2200 and now the memory clock if I push it I know these cards go up to 2400 if I push it to 2400 um, with the settings that I have I actually lose hash rate it'll actually go down to like 81 so my sweet spot was 2200 um, I have this fan at 75 my power limit at 270 and then um, the delay of seconds you know I just have that just to add it there but that's my overclock settings and uh, basically as you can see you know um, it goes you know from time to time it will bounce so as you can see it shows 100 watts but it never it never like shuts so shuts down it's always mining so you know when it hits um, about 260 270 that's when you see it I'm getting the 85 hash rate if I was to push it up higher then it will it will be higher it will go way much higher but I'm not trying to have it so high in watts just for three more hash rates you know if I could have it at 85 hash rate and at below 270 watts then I feel that's a, a good sweet spot right there to have so we're just going to show you all right now I just refreshed it so see this is the sweet spot right here goes to 267 84 um, so I'm roughly around 84 85 hash rates um, I did recently get my hands on um, the R what is it called um, RX 6600 I do have a RX 6600 XT also 
So um, this is what I get for those two cards. So I get 32.24, which it's about the average. I see that's the average with going with RTX 6600s. Um, as far as the 66 non XT, I have seen some. I guess is a silicone lottery to where they're only pushing maybe 29.14 or 29 or 28 point something. So based on your your card, you might get lucky. You might get a little bit more. You might get a little bit less. Um, I feel I have got lucky and I've got a 29.21 um, with the same settings as they put i just went straight to it put the same settings as they put so um yeah so this is uh based off of um nb minor the latest version because i heard that was the the latest version um you were able to unlock more which is true because in the g minor lll minor i was only getting about like 80 hash rate 79 hash rate so with with um with NB minor the latest version which is a uh, 39.6 um, is definitely way more and I'm happy to see that right now with both rigs I'm at about above um 590 which I love that I love that range I want to try to get to 600 but uh, we'll see you know if they unlock it. I do have a feeling that they will be able to unlock it 100%. So that's why I don't want to get rid of the card. Um, if they get it, unlock it to 100%, I'm pretty sure I'm going to um, fly over 600 mega hash. But I have 10 um, graphics cards. And uh, I can just show you the other one too. So here, as you can see, I have 3070s, 3060Ti's, 3090. Um, you know. 1660 super um i might probably sell the 1660 super because like it's pushing about 80 watts i can't get it lower than that um but like with these new a and b cards you know they're so great and efficient that i probably sell that and put it throw in a 6060 xt in that in that rig but um but yeah so yeah like i said i just wanted to show y'all this um you know you could you can um mess with the core clock here so like i would say anywhere from 300 to 13 i mean 1350 to 1300 i would say you know it's a sweet spot for my card which is like i said i got the gigabyte micron um gd r6 version and um, like you said, see, it goes to 265. And you know, uh, I kind of love those, what I'm getting from it. You know, um, from actually when I first got the card, I was only getting about like 72 hash rates. And a lot of people was like, well, why keep the card or why you bought that card? And it was like, I just had a funny feeling that someone was going to be able to unlock the card to, to give its full potential. So little by little we're getting there and uh, now the card is even valued way more like I got the card for I think 1500 and now the, the cards is going for like two thousand dollars so you know that's why like I, anytime I try to get my hands on something I get my hands on it and that's why I mainly bought the 66 non XT like it wasn't something that I really wanted but I just went into the store and was like if if they have it I'll buy it so I got that one for like four hundred and twenty dollars, you know. Um, and I see them getting posted on on sale for like five hundred dollars, five fifty. So, but you know, I'm all about mining, all about trying to get this hash rate up. So my goal is to get it above six hundred, and I'll be satisfied with that. Which I know it will come one day once they unlock a hundred percent of that card. Because that's the only LHR card that I have. So I do hope this video was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave the comments below. Also, if this helps you, smash that like button. Pass it on. Pass it forward. So that way it can help anybody that you may know that's experiencing problems with their cards. And I will catch you on the next one.